वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टूडे टॉपिक इज इनग्रेडियंट्स ऑफ सीमेंट कॉन्क्रीट सो लेट गेट स्टार्टेड इनग्रेडियंट्स ऑफ सीमेंट कॉन्क्रीट इज द क्वेश्चन वॉट आर वेरियस इनग्रेडियंट्स ऑफ सीमेंट कॉन्क्रीट डिस्क्राइब फंक्शन ऑफ इच इनग्रेडियंट इनग्रेडियंट्स ऑफ सीमेंट कॉन्क्रीट दिस इज द पिक्चर ऑफ सीमेंट सेंड एग्रीगेट एडमिक्सचर एंड वॉटर द एंसर इज फॉलोइंग इनग्रेडियंट्स आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर मेकिंग सीमेंट कॉन्क्रीट ए पॉइंट सीमेंट बी इज एग्रीगेट सी इज वॉटर एंड डी पॉइंट इज एडमिक्सचर सो लेट्स इलेबोरेट वन बाय वन a cement cement is used as the binding material and acts as a binder for coarse and fine aggregates generally ordinary portland cement is used to form concrete initial setting time of good concrete should not be less than 30 minutes and final setting time should not exceed 10 hours b point aggregates the granular materials generally inert chemicals such as natural sand gravels crushed stones and air cooled iron blast furnace slag are called aggregates if only cement is used for the construction the concrete will result in shrinkage and ultimately cracks are develop so as to avoid these cracks aggregates are used these aggregates are bound together by means of cement the aggregates are classified into two categories first is fine aggregates second is coarse aggregate fine aggregate the material which is passed through bis bureau of indian standards test sieu number 480 is termed as a fine aggregates generally the natural river sand is used as a fine aggregates but at places where natural sand is not available economically the finely crushed stone may be used as a fine aggregate next point is coarse aggregate the material which is retained on bis test sieu number 480 is termed as a coarse aggregate the broken stone is generally used as a coarse aggregate the nature of work decides the maximum size of the coarse aggregate in this picture we can see 5 to 10 mm size of coarse aggregate 10 to 14 mm 14 to 20 mm and about 20 mm for thin slabs and walls the maximum size of coarse aggregate should be limited to 1/3 the thickness of the concrete section the aggregates to be used for cement concrete work should be hard durable and clean the aggregates should be completely free from lumps of clay organic and vegetable matter fine dust etc the presence of all such debris prevents erosion of aggregates and hence reduces the strength of concrete this is the picture of sieu c point is water the water to be used in making concrete should come from the drinking water standard water is least expensive but most important ingredient of concrete the water which is used for making concrete should be free from acids alkalis salts oil grease and decayed vegetable matters 
the amount of water should be of that which will produce concrete of required quality t point add mixture sometimes the ingredients are added in concrete to give it certain improved qualities or for changing different physical properties in its fresh and hardened states are known as add mixtures The addition of an add mixture may improve the concrete with respect to its strength, hardness, workability, water resisting power, etc. Alum, aluminum sulfate, barium oxide, bitumen, calcium chloride, coal ash, common salt, iron oxide, lime, mineral oils. organic oils potassium chloride silicate of soda tar products volcanic ashes zinc chromates etc are the commonly used add mixtures as an example when calcium chloride cacl2 is added as add mixture it absorbs water from the concrete and water cement ratio falls down and can even be brought down up to the limit of 0.25 so dear friends this is all about ingredients of cement concrete you can also check the playlist related to construction materials and building materials videos in my channel so dear friends let's meet in another video thank you very much